Yo, what the fuck is good? Welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. It's been a fucking minute. Had to bring Hendo back. What's going on, fam? How our convo you? was epic last time. Yeah, oh, it was. Brother. I started splitting up our all my podcasts, but the ones with us get a lot of views. Yeah, you do. and Johnny Bones, they get a lot of views. I love him, dude. People like his face. I don't know what it is. He's just a gentle giant. But yeah, and he talks shit. Yeah, he's so cool. His love language is a punch to the face. That's what I say. Right. It definitely is. is. <laughs> How you been, though, dude? I've been chilling, bro. I'm a lot better than the last time. I remember when I first got here. Oh, I was yeah. Like, <laughs> I just had the intro right in my head of how that started yeah it was trash yeah life mm-hmm. was trash at that moment but like life is pretty fire like it was it's pretty fire right now i've come to peace with a lot of the shit that i was going through word like almost every single piece of it you know what I'm how saying? long did it take probably around the same time as that podcast was like filmed and not posted you know what i'm saying like i mm-hmm. had to take care of a lot of shit that was like that i was causing you know mm-hmm. in other people's lives and in my own and it led me to like a a bunch of crazy revelations. So like, I'm pro I, the version of me that I am right now is the best version that's ever existed. Word, fuck yeah! Oh, shit, <laughs> you're gonna, so sorry. You're gonna do that a couple times. <laughs> that's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, that's man. great to hear. And especially when you feel like that, that obviously is gonna actually manifest itself. Now that you feel like you're there, for real, you're just gonna build on top of that because yeah. misery does love company, dude. Yeah, dude. Misery hates company too. Facts. <laughs> like Facts. I, I wrote that the other day. I was like, "Misery hates company." I was like, "Oh shit!" Because happiness loves company, dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a backwards. some happy people love being alone. Some people are happy mm-hmm. with, like not talking to anyone. Well, yeah. The last time we talked, I was like, I was in a spot where I was very comfortable being alone, and yeah. I was alone at that time. That's and, nice. um And I reached out, and I'm kind of like out. I'm out. I'm out there a lot more now. Yeah. Obviously, I'm doing events, and I was waiting for things to like not be shut down and shit, but. But I've opened up a little more since then, and um, it's pretty much the same, dude. It's like I realized as far as energy goes, it's like you're either going to do something or you're not, you know? Yeah. And they're both going to be fun, and they're both yeah. going to be boring. They're both right. going to have their things that are fun and annoying about them. And Especially the thing about being by yourself is either you're going to beat yourself up and annoy yourself, mm-hmm. or you're going to hang out with other things and other people and do shit. And there's there's obviously going to be – there's going to be things that – grind your gears and make you overthink what you're doing for sure but i think it's even actually being alone or chilling with a lot of people depending on who you're chilling with you know what i mean for real i think it all depends on like perspective too like i've been in moments where like i'm at the happiest where like no one is talking to me Mm -hmm. and i can just like have a few days of like just doing josh just doing whatever you want you know what i'm saying and then there's moments where like I've had moments, I think my happiest moments are when I'm with people. Like, I have moments from, like, my childhood, from, like, my teenage mm-hmm. years all the way up to, like, probably, mm-hmm. like, 25. And I'm, like, those moments wouldn't have defined my personality and my experiences or, like, my happiness at that moment if it weren't for those particular people. You yeah. Know? And then the thing with that for me is it turns into FOMO. What's FOMO? Fear of missing out. Oh, yeah. Like, whenever it's not there and it's not happening, it's just, like, I don't want, like... Any other thing to happen, I just want that to, like, an event. I just want the event to yeah. last forever. I don't I care about wanna, that kind of shit anymore. I just I just want, I'm, like, addicted to any form of dopamine release. Yeah. Like, anything. Like, when, like we talked about last time, like, on the phones or a good time or chilling with these people or, yeah. you know, jamming or improv you I know? think you're definitely a social creature. Yeah. I think that's why you're so good at putting on shows and, like, doing podcasts and being so creative. But I spend so much time alone, so it's, like, a explosion of, like, yeah. people! Yeah. There's people here. Let's fucking hug and hear their stories and shit. For me, spending time alone is, like, a recharge button. Mm-hmm. Like, if I get three days to myself... I mean, don't get me wrong. I love being alone. Like, I like I actually prefer it. That's kind of what yeah. I'm saying. Like, so, that, like, opening up recently, that's why I'm... That's what I'm comparing is, like... You're alone, you're going to be happy and sad in brief moments, and then it's going to be the same when you're doing shit with people is what I'm saying. Yeah, for So sure. it's like... You can be miserable. Don't beat yourself up is what I'm saying for being alone and like choosing to be alone because at the end of the day, doing shit with people is still going to probably be the same thing. The only thing that will change is that you have f- like f- physical things that you can miss. Right. Exactly. That you can like actually miss memories with. I think like it all depends on like how you define the moment. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like the moments where I've had to myself that like I'm not doing anything where it was just still a really good day, like mean much like they mean a, a significant yeah. amount to me, you know? True. Like 
I don't just mm-hmm. forget them, you know what I'm saying? Like there's times where like I've I've like tripped and like had a whole day to myself mm-hmm. or like just talked to my homies for like six hours on the phone and like figured some shit out and like actually mm-hmm. like I remember those moments when I'm just alone or like on the phone and like having those conversations and then the moments where I'm like out with people like that I feel like that shit can be kind of fleeting. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what I mean. People like, change. People it turns leave. into a depend this is what I mean. It like kinda Kind of ties into what I was saying earlier about, like, this dependency thing or, like, I don't know if it's a dependency or a control thing about, like, like our lives in general. Right. Like, if we all had the option, we would all probably be linking and doing shows and festivals every day. And just, For real. Just when you, like, really break it down. Mm-hmm. Would you would rather do this or that? Right. So, like, that's kind of what I mean in the construct of, like, missing shit. Because, mm-hmm. like, we, sh- we shouldn't be doing this. We should all be doing this together Facts. a lot more, mm-hmm. you know. Like, you can use an example as, like, a band, you know. We should all yeah. be playing and on right. tour and shit. But I like, feel like everybody should be an artist. Yeah. I mean, I mean if, if, things were ser- if things were set up and people were, like, all financially straight, there would be a lot more creativity. Yeah. Just in society as and a whole. And a lot less need for, like, economic, like, advantage of creativity. Yeah, you know? it wouldn't be... Expo- would like, be arts, art feels really exploited in a way. For real. Like... It's not pure. Like, yeah, copied and pasted and, like... So that's why when you find somebody who's actually pouring out themselves mm-hmm. through whether their art, their writing, or their music, right. like, that's why like, that's like people gravitate to it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I got to a point in my career, like, with music recently, actually, that, like... If I don't make it, God forbid, because, like, it is, like, my main goal. Like, well, it depends on what you consider make it. I'm just, as, as far as, like, you having, like, standards, like, st- like not standards, because I wouldn't want to be Drake. Like, if I can make 500K a year off rap and, like, tour and, like, see the world mm-hmm. and make sure my family's straight, like, I'd be I'd be straight with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, would just, I just want the financial freedom from it. But, like, God forbid that doesn't happen. Like, if I have to get, if I have to get somewhere in music and it takes away my integrity i'd rather just be a normal guy who makes art mm. you know what i'm saying like because my integrity means more to me than my yeah, like, like i'm gonna do shit. it regardless yeah that's exactly. the point it's not gonna stop me yeah that's the whole point is i'm gonna do it regardless i might be miserable at a certain point in time and have to like do some soul searching about it but like yeah integrity over like <laughs> <laughs> integrity over like selling your soul you know what i'm saying Mm-hmm. For like millions of people to and hear, and the selling your, music. your soul is basically just doing something that you don't want to do. So that yeah, carries exactly. over. That carries over though, and it carries over into like doing anything that you don't want to do for that. So like in the in the metaphorical sense of what that means, or the simile, whatever you want to use, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but like in the sense of that, like everything is that. You know what I mean? Because this is yeah. what I'm saying. We're a lot of the time we're not doing what we really want to do. No one is, even if it's based off of temptation. Like, yeah. even going down the darker route of it. Like, temptation isn't always a bad thing, but we're, all, we're honestly, so we're not, <laughs> just beware. I'm sorry. We're not doing, like, a lot of the things we naturally want to do or think about doing. Yeah. I whether, feel it's, like, whether it's a block or because we're not doing shit. I feel like the infrastructure of society kind of forces you, no matter if you get, like, financially free at some point, like, if it kind of forces you to, like, fit in the cog for money and for, like, like sustainability, which is, like, a real big crippling effect on your imagination, you know? Like, that's why I feel like when 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 people become, like, 30 to 35, like, the person that they are is going to be the person that they are forever, mm-hmm. you know, because their imagination is gone, their their will to like try new things is gone because their personality mm-hmm. plus the infrastructure has already made a synchronization that isn't necessarily beneficial for their imaginative exploration, you know, side well, it depends of the on if they're locked down or not as far as society's wait, you know what I mean? With like a job, if they don't have the time to even, you know what I mean? It depends on the person for real. Yeah. But um, like that's what I mean. If you're a genuine artist, I don't think you'll ever lose that because that that part of imagination and creativity is diving into a different place, whether it's relatable to what you're actually going through in the time in that moment or not. It's still sure. you're diving into like a different realm, just like the drumming and shit, mm-hmm. like improv or freestyling and shit. But I don't know. I think it's I think it's gnarly though the fact that um the fact that you can kind of come up with the same answers alone and with people and without even telling certain people things and they just wind up saying something, you know, that's related with it, with like the synchronicity, like 156. (laughs) (laughs) That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I can't believe that shit happened. 
Fucking um, yeah, but um, so what have you been up to, bro? I've been making a lot more music lately. I've been chilling with my girlfriend a lot more. I've been chilling with my son a lot more. I've been trying to like figure out what matters to me as a man and what matters to me as a musician and what matters to me as a as a partner, what matters to me as a friend, you know what I'm saying? And like mm-hmm. and I think I'm getting to the point to where like with anything that goes on in my life, I would rather like shed the shed the people that I need to shed rather than hold on to like you know certain relationships when like when I when when our personality starts to conflict to where I can't be like peaceful with certain people like I'd rather just like not even yeah yeah you know what I'm saying and like not I think try. I think that's such like a a beautiful thing cuz like I used to hold on to relationships because I thought like mm-hmm. I needed them mm-hmm. cuz I thought they like shaped me yeah. but then I realized I shaped me you know, like mm-hmm. I've been getting over a lot of trauma, a lot of, uh, you know, deep seated issues, a lot of deep seated issues that I've like had inflicted on me and I've inflicted onto people mm-hmm. like and it, it made me realize that like everything that I've been through, I've allowed to shape me because I didn't have a choice at a, cer- at a certain uh, at a certain time. But now that I'm 28, I'm cognitive, I'm I'm social, like I know from right from wrong, like. I have the ability to stop being the victim, you know, mm. and I think it's a beautiful thing. And I think a lot of people should like try and like venture out to getting that outcome because you never know how fucked up you are until you like look in the mirror and ask yourself, why did I do this? Why did I do that? Why did I hurt this person? Why did that person hurt me? Why mm-hmm. did I say this to so and so? Why did I react this way? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us are scared to ask those questions. Yeah, and that vulnerability with yourself, that's what I mean. Um, when you spend a lot of time alone looking in the mirror, that's that tends to be when you think you build up strength to be vulnerable with other people. Yeah. And it doesn't come like That's what I was mentioning earlier before the podcast. We had a podcast before the podcast, like every fucking time. <laughs> yeah, but, for um, real. But like talking about my communication and with my intentions and my tone, because like when you're texting, for example, you can't really tell the tone that's coming through. So... My intentions with my communication and things that I say to people and what I'm doing, even if it's said in a nice way or if I word it as perfect as I can, sometimes there's room for that misinterpretation. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there always is. And I'm I'm so used to getting offended by that. Right. Like I would react to that in in kind of the way that they're misjudging it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like and I would reflect effect. that because like how are you not I just said it like this, you know, right. and that's happened. Like, like I said, literally, I, c- I could tell you seven examples with seven different people this fucking month alone. So, like, when it's happening across the board like that, and I'm like, okay, I, I, I look in the mirror a lot, but this is what I mean. I spent a lot of time alone, so right. I've built up a like a, a tolerance to the shit that I say to myself, right? As far yeah, as being real, sure. yeah. like real, and I think I'm helping. When in sometimes I realize it, it might be self-loathing to some degree in some ways, you know, and okay. and I might be projecting something or something because it's something I feel or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. But well, that being said, though, it would be that that would be the case if if things weren't what turned out to be the conversations in those situations. Right. But the problem is still how I'm saying it and and what I'm saying it and that and that stems from like the alone time that I've spent from with myself and how comfortable I've become with just letting myself know in the mirror and and there was a phase where like I wrote a song called Mirrors a month ago and like everything that I write recently just to give you a poetic uh view of it has been written in a general way with love and respect of like a relationship or yearning for something or yelling at why it's not there, but it's actually me talking into the mirror. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's a perspective of me looking at my reflection, right. telling me to do these things, mm-hmm. but I word it in a way that it could be interpreted as I'm saying it to a girl or a friend or something like, I that. like that. So, but what it really is, is just a, a perspective of staring in the fucking mirror and it got to the point where I've like I've hate the fucking mirror, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like as far as that metaphor goes, I hate the mirror. But I, I have I have a lot now. of con- I have a lot of concepts with the mirror. I want a room that's just mirrors, dude. Same. Just a room that's just one all yeah. mirrors, dude. 
fucking but that concept of like looking in that it's like you have to like that's what i mean about with people and yourself like i can beat myself up as much as i want like yeah i beat myself up with how i talk to myself as far as being real and get trying to get shit done and urging myself to have a discipline with things and then it's like okay i built up a a toughness to like be able to like try to be honest in a peaceful way with other people but i get just as hurt when i talk shit to myself as i as when they misinterpret it so right. like when they misinterpret it it's just as effective to my emotions and dopamine dump right. as it is when i'm not comprehending things on my own what do you so think that, that that's is, what right? i mean about the energy being the same so like spending alone time is good but you have to be careful about mm-hmm. the ego that you're killing because the thing that kills the ego mind might, might, might just be another ego emerging right it's really weird dude that's the thing about like intellect and the thing about like endurance and stuff like that like mm -hmm. anything that you experience from like that kind of like view there's always going to be some kind of ego attached to it you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying because like think about it like this bro like we're musicians who started making music because we were suffering and now we love being musicians because we're skilled at it and Mm -hmm. there's a disconnection between the therapy that it causes us and there's a and the actual like mm-hmm. admiration of what being a musician is, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just to do it, just to do it, just right. to feel. That's why I love the improv band right. shit because that's what to me is just like when that's it comes the most to ego when, stripping yeah, music. When it comes to words and writing your emotions and like writing, that's like your mind versus right. like whereas just playing the instruments is more of like the flow of the body and the energy around you. Mm-hmm. That's why I love that shit so much. And that was kind of the disconnect that I was coming to. I came to this separation with Bugs and why I why I made Bugs. And the whole point of Bugs, I explain it as like he's the explanation point of Brandon, of who I am. Right. But then, and I make every genre as Bugs so that people don't know what I'm going to drop next. You know, I don't want to have to make... I didn't want to have to make like seven different alter egos type shit. You know what I mean? I wanted to like, no, this is what I do. I make everything and I'm just going to drop it how I feel. You should just put that in your uh, uh, link description, like in your uh, description in your Instagram. What? I make everything. I know. No, my link description says, click here to see my whole life. I see my whole life, dude, or some shit like that. And under that's the link with everything in it. That's good too, though. But, But the separation from the artist and who I am is that was looking in the mirror. That was right. like, all right, what does Bugs do for Brandon? What does Brandon do for Bugs? Mm-hmm. Brandon does everything for Bugs. Bugs does shit that makes Brandon's life cool, but is Brandon benefiting at all? Oh, shit, he's not. No. Like, I realized that I was putting all my traumas into Bugs, mm-hmm. and I was hiding it and just painting it in the music, and Stop I wasn't... Stop being the operator. I wasn't facing it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, no, I was operating it completely conscious, but I wasn't facing the issues. I thought that just writing four songs about it that like made me feel good never in different genres. It would be sad, happy, dance. I would just word it in different genres and it would make me it would give me that dopamine. It would give me that thing that I lost from the situation. Right. And I thought I had faced it and then something else would happen that would make me not remember that. And then it, everything winds up building up. Mm-hmm. So over years that's what I was doing. Like right. I'm talking we're talking eight, nine years of, of making music and doing that. Right. And it came to a head when I realized that no weed was helping, no music was helping, nothing was helping. So I took a step back and looked in the mirror in a different way. Mm-hmm. And that's when that's when I really realized, like, okay, like, I've always taken accountability as shit, but, like, it just really comes up to, like, rolling over and dying or getting up and fighting. That's yeah. really what it comes down to. Dude, I just now started taking accountability. And, like, let me tell you, bro, it's fucking... Mm-hmm. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, not it's the easy. same thing. It's looking in the mirror. It's not easy. And like taking accountability for like, that's what I mean. And that's what this started with, with intentions. Because like my intentions are so fucking well for everybody. But it's crazy how the scope and like view of things, depending on the person's life and what they're going through and how they interpret. Everybody has different trauma yeah, and, responses. And how they're interpret yeah, triggers and shit. And how they're interpreting what you're actually saying or trying to convey. It's, yeah. it's fucking wild. I miscommunicated wild. some shit. Like I... I I can be the first person to tell you that like sometimes I'm a defensive person and like sometimes like I make the shit that I believe in my whole identity when I start to like really get like deep dive into it and it like it turns me into like kind of like a like a condescending person and yeah. like egotistical and arrogant and sometimes I have to like I have to con- I have to have conversations with my homies all the time about like mm-hmm. yo am I 
am I saying this in the wrong way to where it's offensive rather than informative? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I can I can definitely be the first to tell you that like I've taken things the wrong way, miscommunicated things because like I just didn't like that I didn't like the idea of somebody opposing me, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a different ego. That's a defense mechanism, and everybody has a different way to of like that. Like some people just stop responding. Some people f- feed right into it. Right. Some people, you know what I mean. It depends on what they've been through before that. So, like, even even if you're just trying to have a conversation, some people take that as confrontation when mm-hmm. you're just trying to talk. For sure. When you're just like that, or like people just walk away or run away from the situation that wasn't even intended like that. Like, it's it's kind of wild. Like, and that's what I mean. It's weird. It's funny how like a lot of things come when things come together, a lot of things fall apart. Like simultaneously in your life, that's on one side bro. and another. Yeah, like it's very fucking weird. Like all around everything. You wouldn't be that. at the place you're at right now if you didn't let certain strings go and put certain strings back up. You know I'd be holding saying? on to strings, man. Why? It's not worth it. Certain people just aren't worth it, bro. Maybe we could restring it. Nah. <laughs> Some certain things can't make be Make a piano, make a new instrument or something. Nah, son. I'd be so happy about like the the bridges that have burned with me and the bridges that I burn with other people because like I'll look back at the 360 scope of everything, be able to take accountability, be able to understand where I'm the problem and understand where the other person is the problem and accept that it wouldn't have worked regardless, you know, yeah. or or only worked for a certain amount of time until because of, of what both of you were doing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like once you outgrow somebody, you outgrow somebody, yeah. you know, and it's like I don't feel guilty for it. I don't feel bad about mm-hmm. not being friends with certain people that I'm not friends with anymore. I don't feel bad about, you know the things that I've done wrong to people anymore because, like, I've just forgiven myself and done that soul searching. Mm -hmm. But, like, I think what I always try to, you know, instill in myself is that, like, I'm the villain in somebody's story, most people's story. So my accountability has to be consistent, you know, to make up not only for the things that I've done wrong to other people, but for the things that I've done wrong to my own body, the things that I've done wrong to my own Mm -hmm. mental illness, you know what I'm saying? Like, how I've perpetuated my personality and shit like that. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm careful with myself and I'm careful with the people around me because I know what it's like to do wrong and to have wrong done to you on the same, like, scale, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, I just have to be... I have to be really, really, like, I guess, uh, careful about the things that I say, how I say them, what I believe in. Like, even, you know, uh, certain things that I say in my music now, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I, like, try to... <laughs> yeah, that's, I can I noticed it went a little more, a little less like that. It's still, still you're still hint, though. Yeah. But, but I noticed that a little bit. Fucking... Yeah, it's interesting, dude. It's funny how perspectives can be mis- misconstrued and shit like that. But, um, oh, well. Whatever. Yeah, man. I mean, people have walks of life, and they're not going to be the same as yours. Like, mm-hmm. there's no point in getting like super tight about it you know like if you like love somebody and then like that chain is broken obviously it's gonna hurt for a minute you know but like you're gonna die alone one day bro but like (laughs) yeah but that's that's the thing it's like everything hurts that's what i mean so like being alone hurts and then having people and losing them to death or life or even just fallouts losing them to life yeah yeah they're dead and they didn't even die Like, that's Mm -hmm. the weird shit to me because, like, when you're talking about those phases, I don't, like, it always, it's always bugged me, like, the phases that people have. Like, the only reason that people don't have crews and shit like that is because everything switches up so quick and shit. It's weird. Because you can't control somebody else's ego. You could be on the same page with another motherfucker Mm -hmm. for for your whole life, but they would still have a different ego level than you. Yeah, that's happened too. Like a long term <laughs> shit or a quick John, like friends that just like it's weird, dude. You like because like is it because because if it's if it's quick or long, like where was the where did the fake where did the front start? Like it's where hard to tell. where did did the first initial bother happen? Yeah, so that we could. <clears throat> like the one thing that irked me mm-hmm. that was like definitive because we were raging the whole time <laughs> yeah. all of us were raging for real 
So like that's where that's the shit that I overthink about is like, was it me? And then I think back on everything I do and like and I'm very honest and like if it's me, yeah, I'll take blame for something and I would apologize. But I like majority of the time because I'm so on top of this in real time. Like I'm like, damn, I didn't like I do shit. The only thing I was doing was like helping, you know what I mean, for majority of them. And that's just like the honesty of it. So then I start really digging in to what the things I did and the things I said. Cause I have like, I have a great memory and I remember like a lot, a lot of shit. And, um, and when I dive back into moments and like relive them in a way, it's like, it's, it's like, that's what, that's what I mean. Like where, where, okay, where did the switch happen? Right. And who, who did it happen with? Mm-hmm. Was there a convo because like, or something, was you know. Was it energy? Was yeah, it a, was was it, it a movement? Is it, is, it, is it just jealousy in a yeah. weird way? Or like, I don't know what it is. So like, and that's just in general. And I'm talking about from like sixth grade on, dude. I'm talking from fifth grade friendships. I'm talking like, I'm talking about the whole life, like weird right. shit like that. Like, Bro, I've had motherfuckers that I were that I was like locked in with. Mm-hmm. Like we were on the same page about everything, and then one wrong thing happened, like a wrong part of my personality or their personality showed, and it like it put a barrier there. It put a brick wall there that you could never like break off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and it's disappointing. It's fucking heartbreaking. But like, the thing is, is that like you have to accept that growth is gonna happen. Falling apart is going to happen. Like you said earlier, you, and things have to fall apart for other things to come together. Mm-hmm. Like, why would you want to stay complacent in something that you're not pleased with anyway? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. better for you to just part ways with that person and have them grow, you grow, mm-hmm. and be unapologetic about it rather than, like, you know, yeah. being, like, in your feelings about it. Because mm-hmm. you're not that person. You don't get to dictate what that person does. They, that person doesn't get to, get to dictate what I do. You the problem is, like, emotions is what makes us do shit, though. We're emotional creatures. That's the thing about us is, like, we can hone in on and explain our emotions. Like, so they control the things that we do, like love, like the love for your son, the love for, you know, somebody that you have. So, like, I understand that, like, fuck it, just forget the emotions. But that's what that's that's actually the part that bothers me the most is because that's literally what we navigate around with. Yeah. And it's not, and the dopamine releases that I speak of isn't emotion. That's just like the moment of happiness or euphoric or whatever I would say. Like you're finally doing something you want to do, whatever that is. Right. But as far as everything else goes, yeah, everything else is fucking emotion, whether it's anger or, and it's like chemical reactions in your body that you don't know where to, that's displaced mm-hmm. depending on being nervous or anxious or, uh, you know, happy or angry and shit like that and depending on the emotion that you're in dictates what you're gonna do in that moment right if someone says some fucked up shit to you and you're pissed off and that person matters to you you're gonna talk some shit back right if someone says some nice shit to you but you're like in a bad mood and don't want to hear it you're not gonna like you're not gonna respond yeah so like i can't stand when people use the thing like the emotion thing because bro that's what we do dude that's like that's us so like that's why the thing with it's just business no it's not your business could your business probably could have just did some fucked up shit to this person's business or something like that you know what i mean it's just business no it means like you know what i mean it means there's 20 rocks and you don't want me to have 10 of them. You want to take 15. You're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it means. So like to say. If it was say, good business, there'd be synergy. Yeah. To <laughs> say to say, don't have emotions in that is to take 15 rocks, bro. <laughs> like yeah, it's like real. straight up. Take 15 rocks. No, bro. Give me 10 of them. For real. Then I, won't, some, then I won't be emotional. Some of these rich motherfuckers don't even like really have big families to where that money could be allocated mm-hmm. properly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about emotions. Oh, shit. <laughs> 15 rocks of emotions, dude. All right. All right. 15 rocks of emotions. Yeah. So, like, even the, yeah. And and, and a metaphor, and metaphor, like, metaphorically anything, like, not money. Like, I'm talking about, like, business or, like, anything. Like, it could be a metaphor for anything. Yeah, for sure. Like, we're on an island, 15 bananas. You you take 15, I'd take five. That's fucked up. For real. And, like, now, like, if there was a discussion where, like, this motherfucker's, like, 350 pounds. And you're not like actually no, you don't get more because you're bigger. You got more body fat. You know that's where a debate would come in. But like, right. 
<laughs> but, <laughs> you see what I mean? But that, but that, that, that's a different thing. That's like that's that's a scientific route. If we're talking about yeah. emotions, though, like that's like that's where we're like I understand we have to erase emotions for certain things to get shit done. Like you can't be emotional and shit. Like it, like sports players who are emotional, for instance, they like they lose foul out of the game or. Yeah. So they lose focus in the sense of what the goal is. But, like, at the end of the day, what is the fucking goal? Stephen Curry would be... What's the goal at the end of the day for us? Like... I, I don't know. That's, like, an interchangeable question. Is it, like... Is it to, like, continue our, rate, like, uh, people and have babies? Is it to learn and expand and grow? It's a lot. Consciousness? for real. Because everybody has a different goal in their existence. Like, I don't mm -hmm. think we're ever going to have a synchronized one person, like, singular thought yeah. when it comes to being, like, humans. Because then that wouldn't make That's us what sentient. That's to do. That would make us ants, for real. Mm -hmm. The ants. I love ants. <laughs> <laughs> that would, no, Shout that would, out to the ants. That would literally just make us a colony, but, like, we would need something for the greater good to even, like, have that established. Which, everybody's greater good is different, you know? Like... Mm -hmm. So there would be, there will never be a synchronized thought in the human race of human history ever where all of us do the the uh, a singular thing that is good for all of us because then it would take away our egos, our arrogance, our hierarchy, our need for infrastructure, our need for money and I don't see us getting past that point because everything that's created it's is, because people are emotional, dude. Yeah. And like the first thing that we do is try to like learn. <laughs> you literally just took the words <laughs> out of my mouth. People make money because they're mm. passionate about certain things, whether it be vindictive, whether it be feeding their family, whether so it be, as much as people want to say it's just business. No, it's motherfuckers not. have relationships with business partners and shit. And right. sometimes those relationships go south, so they screw them out of the deal. And under the guise disguise of it's just business. Exactly. So I actually look at that like to say like obviously I get I remember we we mentioned the focus I understand you got to be focused but emotion is what drives you to want to have focus yeah, for certain exactly. things like Stephen Curry the emotion be so of love about like if he yeah, wasn't yeah know, if he didn't love the shit as right. a kid watching his dad do it you know what I mean like greatest three point scorer ever fucking loves the game. or like a passionate love like you do things for the person you love like as far as like the typical protector provider yeah. thing like that's the Dude, thing that happens I literally just learned in my life recently that like I love doing romantic things for my girlfriend yeah I love like. It makes me really happy to see that smile on her face to, like, give her flowers or to give her reassurance or to make her feel, you know, beautiful and stuff like that. It really, it makes me happy to know that she feels that way because of me. And now, because of that boost, she could probably branch off and find that self-worth more in herself without having me tell her, you know, mm -hmm. which is something that I want for her ultimately. Because, like, before she's my girlfriend, she's my best friend. And I think that's why I have, like, such a desire now to shed that whole macho machismo, dark, enigmatic, like, I don't like romantic flower shit. Like, that's mm -hmm. stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like I've always been a lover, dude. I never hid that shit. I've always been a lover. I've always but, tried um, to. I love hard, dude. I love real hard. And that's what I'm saying because I'm picky. So, like, when yeah. I do, like, fuck with someone, I fuck with them the long way. I feel you. And, um... And people view love differently. That's what we were talking about earlier. Like, what mm -hmm. to you, like, just like what you said to make it. Like, all right, well, what is making it to you? Is making it a lot of money? Is making it having a family that you trust? Is making it, you know, what right. is making it to you? At the end of the day, that's different. Just like love is different. And, For sure. And love is the most passionate emotion yeah. of all of them. It's also so, super interchangeable. Yeah, so if anything, that'll... That'll push you as far as that goes. That's that's what you know what I mean. That's that emotion. Yo, you know what blows my mind? The mm. fact that there are like people in the Ku Klux Klan that <laughs> that are in love Where with the their you with <laughs> that are in love with their wife and like would do anything for their oh, wife. They got a beautiful family at home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like actively hate black people or like other races like that. Parents that have a real good mind. marriage and all that. <laughs> That's so crazy. Like they're monogamous. They love their wife. They honor their wife. But you see them at a Black Lives Matter protest ready to fuck some shit up. Like that's such a crazy part of the brain. You know, and even like on like a on like on the flip side. Well, the deception, dude. Like people, that's the thing. Like as kids, like dude, the first thing kids learn is like the word no like it's no no ha like kids just learn what they can lie and get away with as humans i'm saying like yeah we just first the first thing we do and then that's what happens with business deals and 
and dude, so much other shit. Everyone's just lying to like a. That's why it's like spending a lot of time by myself and being so honest with myself when I I'm fine. It's not that people are lying around me. It's that I'm pointing out things that they like. I guess people are keeping down here, mm-hmm. and it's like, and the thing is, I see myself with that. And because I've spent so much time, like, honestly, not by my my choice. It's because I was grieving, and I didn't want to lash out on anybody. So I spent all my time alone. Right. And, um, and I can just, like, I can just tell in certain conversations, because people are, like, n- generally open with me. Mm-hmm. And, like, I know when people are shutting off, you know, yeah. and that's when I start picking. <laughs> <laughs> that's when i start like prod like no nah, like let's go here a little bit no right. like and they'll try and I'm like no I, like I, like we gotta go here this is where this is the thing yeah like, i feel like it's imperative to like question other people and why they like have certain beliefs and the shit that they believe in you know because mm-hmm. like but like you said <laughs> interchangeable like anything yeah. can be interchangeable at that point i mean everything for the sake of that person's argument right yeah this is why like trust and loyalty and conversations because people could just say anything yeah like anybody could just say anything like like yo i'll meet you at the show i'm gonna give you 590 dollars tomorrow i'll be there tomorrow bro really like yeah i swear like i I, i'm coming like they could just say that yeah and that like for no you could believe it or not but the thought there of them pulling up is it's gonna fuck with you it's gonna change your emotions yeah it's gonna make you move differently (laughs) this is what i mean so when people say that this shit and then you go there like i knew he wasn't gonna come and he doesn't come Uh but you knew he wasn't gonna come but you a little piece of you did yeah, a little piece that, of that, that hook. That little piece, bro. That's some bread. That little piece <laughs> is a little a little enough to make you go like, you know. Like, There's a thousand little pieces change, like yeah. that. So, yeah, so now even, yeah, so add a, a bunch of them, dude. Yeah. With all different people all day, every day. Every different experience Yeah, that you with have. everything. Yeah. So, like, a person who's, like, just, just, be, just be honest, dude. Like, yeah, that's the real. type of person I am is, like. You can read through shit is what I'm saying. You can read through when someone's not saying how they feel in a situation or like, you know, but but you can't, like I said, like you were saying, you can't control people. You can't force them to think how you're thinking and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, because like at the end of the day. Because intentions get missed. Yeah, for real. Like some people just misinterpret things because they're like mm-hmm. stupid or arrogant or like some people just really can't handle truth, bro. Like when you try to break a person's bubble of truth. And the truth is creepy. I mean, like it comes. It, depending on the truth that it is, I don't know. Like, see, I'm such a truth seeker. Like everything I right. just said, and now, now when I really think about it, if I had the choice to like not know some shit that I found out or knew, I'd be like, damn, I'd be cooler if I didn't know that. Nah, dude, I want to know. Like everything. the fact that we didn't go to the moon and shit like that. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, like, let's say that is a true thing. Like, what does it really prove? Like, what does it really like say about our country? Like that we went there. Like, all right, we've we've thrown shit into like we space won the all race. The time. I guess I don't know. Like, that's <laughs> dumb. Like that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck whether or not we did make it to the moon. I know that we have satellites up in that bitch right now, helping us stay as like a civilized, socialized society. Who was like, yo, let's do that. Like, like, let's go to the moon. Like that, we have written papers and stuff like of like that shit. But like, dude, like there was a person way, way back, and they were like, "What's that shit up there, dude?" And yeah. I don't I know, dude. I don't know it. about none of that shit. I'm terrified of heights and planes and all that. I hate planes. I'm so scared of that I shit. I would never be an astronaut. Yeah, why would you want to do that? They don't get paid that much bread. Even flying in a plane, like it's a big. It's a big fucking can, dude. If you're going to make me go into space, I need Make them. you? Who's making you? <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying, like, if that's my Who's job, go, if that's my job, like, I need at least People three. volunteer for that shit. That's, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I don't want to be caught in the vacuum of space in a vessel of metal. Like, yeah. I don't want to do that. That's, that's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the footage from up there is fucking CGI. <laughs> you think so? It is. I don't know. Bro. Go to NASA right now. Grab your phone. Go to NASA.com. All the photos from space are fucking CGI. And there's no there's no footage or pictures of satellites out there. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying what I said. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. 
<laughs> Where? I'm on it right now. I'm going to NASA right now. Photos. They got to have some photos, dude. NASA space pictures? Is that a whole section? I don't, it says NASA.com. Yeah. Uh, is this the actual website I of NASA? Yes, yeah, it's got to be, dude. I don't think so, bro. What's that? No, that's a different site. No, I can't be. It's, what, Why would it we'll be CGI, fam? It's, it's true, dude. It's true. I'm going to put in some NASA pictures right here. Why would it be CGI? Okay. I don't, don't ask me, dude. Why would they lie about going to the moon? I mean, I don't know. Who knows if they did or not? Why would they lie? Why would they lie about going to the moon? Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any kind of sensible explanation for them lying about it. Like that's if that like for for the sake of like theories and stuff, that'd be the dumbest thing to lie about. Because like nobody, it doesn't change anybody's everyday life that we went to the moon or not. Because of, what, were we in a race? Against Russia, yeah, but like and on, China, I think right on a on a grand scheme of know. things, who gives a fuck? Like, but it was like a show of like technology and power. That's like what it that's was. Stupid. That so, goes right back to the emotion thing. That's stupid. That's dumb. I like, still live in America. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like, why haven't we gone back? Because there's nothing there. Probably not. It's a moon. It's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why would we go there? It's like, a battery. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the negative. It's the negative and positive battery. That's yeah, the negative I swear battery. To God. Like that's that's all that it is for the whole like for for Earth. Like, mm. who gives a fuck about the moon? You know what I'm saying? As long as that bitch stays in orbit and doesn't explode, I don't care who went to the moon first. Like, I want to know why we're not back there right now with a camera talking to people. Like, why isn't there, like, straight up? Because who gives a fuck? (laughs) Like, it's the moon, bro. Because did we go? That's why. Now we got to prove it. I don't, that's the thing. Like, does it matter if we did or not? No, in the scheme of, in the grand scheme of things. It matters if we There's people hungry fucking 20 minutes from us. Yeah, for real. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter, like. Giving certain funding and all that to other shit. This yeah, is my but. thing about the government, bro. I know for a f- <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to clip this one. Yeah. <laughs> I know for a fact, just being a black person, that them niggas is lying about a lot of things. So like, I just don't, I don't get involved in it because at the end of the day, like that's something that like everybody's gonna have their evidence that opposes it and the evidence that advocates it. My whole thing is, is like whatever your truth is that keeps you comfortable about the U S government or what they do with like shit, like area 51, NASA fucking the, even down to like the judicial system and the police force, whatever you feel, whatever you feel like if, if it doesn't bring us to a pick to a piece of like solidarity and like uniting, then you're probably on the wrong side yeah, yeah, of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and that's just critical thinking. Mm-hmm. You know, like when you when you think about basic human morals and what we all want as like a a unified basis of people. If you're on the wrong side of trying to get people, but to what be they do is such a spectacle, bro. It's just circus. They do it's, weird it's shit. rap battles, yeah. dude. Yeah, it is. It's just straight up rap battles. Yeah, and they just talk shit on each side, and it just confuses a lot of people who don't do the critical thinking or digging. And now, like, we are at a time where, like, certain shit is, like, you have to, you do have to dig for, like, answers and stuff. Because right on, right on the front pages of stuff or, or what people post that you see all day is, like, dude, everyone's regurgitating things. But, excuse me, I do like how um, we're more of the news people than the news is now. Like, where we are starting to, like, do our own shit. Like, when something serious happens, everybody looks it up their own way. Right. So whatever they're like looking that at bubble that happened. Yeah. So whatever happens is going to like everyone's going to still get the information in a different way, but depending on who they get it from and how it's told is what the paint is the skew of it. Yeah. That adds so, the emotion and the intensity and the fucking oppositions behind it. And that ties into what I was talking earlier about about how how you say things and how I paint things. So even if I say something the wrong way, which makes this person react in that way, I could still then pivot from what I said and say like how I meant it, you know? And then if how I meant it still gets misinterpreted, that's where like, okay, now like now I got to scratch my head and really think about what to fucking say to make this person understand my perspective. And that's just from a general truthful, honest place. News is doing that to get you to like, 
buy into their agenda. So, I mean, like, if they don't get you to believe this thing, they got to get you to believe this thing. It's, like, the same thing. It's all... That's why I don't really watch the news. It's all a form of, like, manipulation. It's weird. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of different propaganda on, like, both sides of the news, whether it be Democratic, whether it be Republican, whether it be, like, progressive, whether it be fucking, uh, like, radical Yeah, extreme, obviously, it's just right? all fucking... It's all that. My whole thing is, is, like, there's a lot of shit that I agree with that I feel like niggas can just meet in the middle with. Like, I think... The whole idea of gun control is cool and shit like that, but I also think having guns is fucking dope. So, like, if there's a way we can meet yeah, in the middle like that, shit. like, let's do that, you know? But the thing is, is, like, people on those sides don't want to meet in the middle because their ideas about it are very extreme. The thing is about, like, school shootings and, like, gang violence and, like, all that stuff, there's always going to be illegal guns no matter how much you try to police them because there's a, a worldwide illegal gun trade. Mm-hmm. You can't. You can't stop every single country from selling guns. They're just guns. printing them now, too. You know, they're like... Just, they're just 3D printing shit now. So... And you can't stop people from the U.S. Army and the Korean Army and the Chinese Army from smuggling yeah, guns, which happens. Shit. You know, They like, just drop it. They just be dropping it. Yeah, like, it's... Gun violence will never be a thing that stops as long as humans exist because guns exist because of humans. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're one and the same. We literally unless made a it. new weapon comes, dude. Nukes already happened, bro. Like, yeah, like a mind control. I don't know. I feel like biological those, weapons, dude. That could happen, dude. Yeah, that could definitely happen. That could be a thing. The and the reason we didn't go back to the moon is because there's something up there. I don't think so, bro. There's something up there that ate. Ate someone. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that, bro. And that's another reason why to not give a fuck if we got there. <laughs> like, what if there is something else? Because what if we really got there and the alien ate us? Now we just lost the motherfucking... Now aliens exist. <laughs> well, the, the theory is, like, if we are sending shit, like, way out there, the bacteria that can survive and the shit that... Those tiny little micros that we're not aware of might survive on other planets and, like, evolve there if evolution is real. Yeah, but would that didn't make we, didn't like we a, talk about evolution last yeah, time? Yeah, but would that make like a different version of a human? Like that would probably take billions and billions of years. Well, it just depends like on humanity. what it would turn into. <laughs> yeah, like it, like the fish shit or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> so, like, I don't know, dude. Like, I believe in like aliens and shit. I believe there's like other worlds and shit like that out there. But like, if there is like an alien race on Earth, it's definitely not harmful. Because why? If it was harmful, like. Wouldn't have made, have wouldn't it have made its move? It might by be then? us, dude. I mean, yeah. Look how much harm we've caused to this the is earth. Why we're so confused? Yeah, for real. That we're could be like, a possibility. We're like, yeah. What's good? What's going on here? Why are we here? What are we doing? Mm-hmm. Can we just fucking dance? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing? Seriously, what are we doing here? Oh, wait, 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 guys, wait. What are we doing? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are we here? Dumb, clueless. Like, what are we doing? All the time. Why are we, like, bang- we're playing bingo just to, like, waste time, you know? Like, yeah. Coming up with companies and shit like that. Hey, <laughs> shell companies. Oh, yeah. Like, fake companies to launder money through the real companies. Facts. We're coming up with all these schemes to, like, scammers and shit. To, to just get shit and hurt each other. Like, what are we, what are we doing, guys? Can we just, like, Yo, people have fake Instagram pages for self-validation. People have <laughs> fake Instagram pages to creep on shit. Like, that's crazy. Dude, I think we should, like, everything should be, like, a fucking big old garden. Whoa. Fucking Everything thunder. should be a bit, right when I say garden, you're in, everything should be a fucking big garden. Everything should be powered by, like, solar and, and like, uh, the fucking things in the ocean. Not the propellers with the wind. You just put them out there. I think I know what you're talking Everything about. Everything should be self-sustained. And that's pretty much... When we all have that time, everyone will be a lot more creative. Yeah, and sure. when we quadruple times, quadruple times, quadruple the amount of people creating like I am or you are, just as far as looking into yourself or writing about it or painting a bit, like quadruple that to the versions of what those people will do. Cause like some people look at that like like wood carving or like driving cars, wood carving, like is sick. racing cars, find out how to make the car more aerodynamic. Anything, whatever the person does, dude, like whatever it is, they would spend more time doing that. We wouldn't yeah, do nothing, for dude. Sure. 
we wouldn't sit and watch. I mean, we would sit and watch movies at the end of the nights and shit like that. But people wouldn't just sit and do that all day. We probably still have a sense of like a form of currency, but it probably wouldn't mean as much. People would know? find shit. People would find shit to do, and yeah. we would fucking do it. That's the all thing. the time. Yeah, that's the thing. We would definitely do it. But um. But yeah, I think um. I think this was a deeper convo than I thought we were gonna have. Yeah, for sure. But um, no, no little ant convos. <laughs> Shout out to the ants. <laughs> to the Yo, colonies. ants are fucking scary, bro. To the colonies. I know for a fact that if ants were our size, they could take over the world. Dude, they're still finding different kinds of ants, bro. Like That's different wild. species of shit. Gnarly as fuck. Yo, did you hmm. know that dolphins were like super predators? They are. Like. Nah, like they rape motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's they have rape caves, bro. They get high. Like, mm-hmm. I had no idea about any of that shit until yeah, recently. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. We don't know if they have conscience, dude. We don't know if they have a conscience. And if that's they do, some pretty conscious. And decision if they do, shit, are they bro. asking why? Do tigers ask why? Monkeys, I think, even trip. Do manatees. <laughs> Sharks, do they ask why? I think there are some animals that are just like on a baseline sense of intelligence for like endurance and just to reproduce and yeah, just reproduction like a shit. like a bacteria trying to spread, like a yeah. cell trying to split. I feel that way about some reptiles. So that's what I'm saying. Are we a splitting cell or are we? Because if we're a splitting cell, then that does mean we're a part of a bigger organism, which maybe is Earth or whatever. But. Like in that sense, you see what I mean. Yeah. But, but I think, damn, there's just so many individual thoughts. Yeah, we all want the same things, though. Uh, some, I don't know. I think we all want to chill. Yeah, I think some people want to chill without other people, though. I think some people would be happy if other people were dead and they could chill by themselves. Well, it's not like we're going to be like, yo, you got to come to the beach party, dude. You're not allowed to go sit in the mountain by yourself in a hammock, bro. You have to come here. Like, no, go sit in the fucking hammock. Word. Like, it's not like that. That's what I mean. Like, whatever you want to do, do it. But besides, obviously, being a gnarly fucking dickhead. <laughs> I love your use of gnarly. <laughs> gnarly besides being a fucking asshole. Yeah. Like I'm cool with anything that anybody's doing as long as it's not harmful. Just stop being an asshole. Yeah. Just stop being a piece of shit. Yeah. That's my like biggest thing about life. Like I don't give a fuck what you believe in. I don't give a fuck about how you feel. I don't give a fuck about you know what I'm saying, like what your household is. Just don't be a dickhead. Like and treat people with respect. That's, I guess, that's the message of the tone and the emotions and everything. It boils down to don't be a dick. Yeah, even with like when you strip down religions, every religion, its whole purpose is to just teach people to not be. Don't an be asshole. a dickhead. Yeah. Don't be a fucking. Concept. Thou shall not be a douche. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. Yeah, that should have been the first and only commandment. <laughs> That shall not be a douche. And then there should have been a seminar on what being a douche means and all the different variations of douche. And Well, now, see, if we were doing what I said earlier, look up what douche actually means. <laughs> 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 yeah, that could have gotten some people in trouble. This is probably where we should end it, guys. Let's not talk about douches. But <laughs> thank you for popping out, dude. That was an interesting conversation. Having, it was deeper, but... Yeah, we'll have more, guys. I'll see you soon. I'm going to drop more this year. Stream Light in the Mood on every oh, yeah, platform. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. Hendo. You feel me? Follow me on Play my right fucking here. Instagram. Uh, H number three. N-D-O number 13. You feel me? That's my Instagram handle. I'm that nigga. Why? Wow. Mm, and um, yeah, just come give me a hug, guys. That's all. Bye. <laughs>